Cause our friends love food, we're not big in sausage or ham Eat peanut butter and banana, and dance to this vegan jam Don't eat chickens, cows, cats or dogs, or even a single lamb Happy Vegan Declaration Day! Vegan dogs are healthy, vegan dogs are happy, vegan dogs can thrive. If your dog isn't vegan yet, why don't you ask yourself why? Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, don't steal milk from a cow. Be vegan, start right now, follow that vegan teacher, she will show you how. Bet you can't tell which dog is vegan, bet you can't tell. Bet you can't tell which dog is vegan, bet you can't tell. Welcome to class, everyone. Reading comments, and yours is next. So you're asking, why am I mean to people? Well, I don't think that I'm mean. I think I'm just telling the truth, and people don't like to hear the truth, so they try to act like I'm mean. Let me ask you this. Let's say you saw somebody kicking a dog, hurting a dog, cutting the dog up, and was about to eat the dog. And you yelled at that person to please stop. And what if they looked at you and said, stop being so mean. Stop yelling at me. You're such a bully. What would you think? See what I'm saying? I'm not the bully here. I'm not the mean one. I'm just the one telling the truth and trying to get the mean people to stop. I'm trying to get the bullies to stop. Okay? Okay. The vegan dog is still alive. Look at her run, look at her thrive. If Bella can be vegan, so can you. If Bella can be vegan, so can you. Hi. Responding to comments, and yours is next. You're asking everybody if they have seen a video where a supposedly vegan dog chose to eat meat instead of eating the vegan dog food. Well, first of all, we have no evidence that that is, in fact, a vegan dog. And more likely, it is somebody who is trying to sell their product, which is the dead flesh of other animals. Second of all, even if it was true that the vegan dog chose the non-vegan dog food, that has no relevance to what we're talking about here. Dogs don't have moral agency. They don't know what they're eating. So they will choose something that tastes good to their palate in the same way that a child will choose to eat candy all day if they were allowed. It doesn't mean it's good for them and it doesn't mean it's good for their families or the world at large. So our job as the adults of society is to do the right thing. Feed your dog vegan food. Vegan dogs are healthy. Vegan dogs are happy. Vegan dogs can thrive. Vegan dogs are healthy. Vegan dogs are happy. So why pay for murder? Keep all the animals alive. Reading comments, and yours is next. You're asking about circuses. Well, I'm against circuses, unless it's just full of humans who actually want to be there, like a lot of gymnasts, for example. If we have the same ears as animals to hear, the same eyes to see as them, the same beating heart full of will to live, then how can we justify exploiting and hurting them? If we feel the same hunger and thirst, the same fear of harm, the same love of freedom, then how can we justify killing and eating them or using them in a circus? Animals are here with us on the planet, not for us. Our job is to protect them, just as if they were children. So animals need a bill of rights. They need the right to be able to live in peace without being fearful all their lives. Do you agree? Are you vegan yet? Are you vegan yet? What are you waiting for? Are you vegan yet? Are you vegan yet? Open the vegan door. Saving animals begins with you. If your neighbor can be vegan, then so can you. Hi. So you're asking me if I'm proud of you because you've made some attempts to become vegan. And the short answer is, of course I am. 
I think it's great. The only thing I worry about is I did check your profile. I don't usually check everyone's profile. I just answer to them just like that. But I checked and you seem to be young and I just want to make sure that you're eating healthy. So a good idea is when you start to try to become vegan is that you involve your parents, make sure that they understand the reasons and you try to say to them, hey, I'd really like to start doing some cooking. I'm going to research some vegan recipes and mom, don't worry. I'm going to eat all my vegetables, all my fruits. I'm going to eat nuts and seeds and I will remain healthy. And you've got to convince your parents a lot because a lot of times parents are misinformed. They just don't know the truth. So go ahead and Google things and make sure you buy some lentils, beans, chickpeas, rice, pasta, kale, uh, spinach smoothies. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do, woo-hoo. Eating eggs is so last century, nobody needs to, so here's what you do. Mash tofu, green onions, and celery in a pan. Add black salt, turmeric, and spices, yes you can. Mix in some vegan mayo, mix in some vegan mayo. Now mix in a salty pickle. Yeah, that's the way to go, oh, ooh! Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do, woo-hoo! Learn how to make it, cause saving animals will make them happy and will make you happy too. The egg industry's just a cycle of misery, let's make the animal holocaust history. The egg industry's just a cycle of misery, let's make the animal holocaust history. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do, woo-hoo! Learn how to make it, cause saving animals will make them happy and will make you happy too. Being vegan is easy when you don't think about yourself. Being vegan is easy when you think about someone else. The victim. Your comment says, so you just don't give up, do you? And my response to that is, let's say you were the victim. Wouldn't you be proud of me for not giving up on you? If you were enslaved, if you were behind bars for a crime you never committed, if you felt lonely, sad, and betrayed, wouldn't you want somebody like me to make sure that you were not forgotten? Wouldn't you want somebody like me to be annoying to everyone around to say, hey, this person is innocent. We must set them free. We must not be prejudiced against them. See, that's why, because I know what it must be like to be a victim. I have been a victim in my life, and I'm sure that you have too, as has everyone who's watching this channel. So what I'm asking you to do is tap into that, try to remember how it felt, and be as vegan as possible, and help them. Should I eat animals? Should I eat animals? No, 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 no. Should I be vegan and eat tofu, beans, and rice? Yes, that would be very nice. Woohoo! Let's eat vegan pizza too. Hi. You want to know my opinion about horseback riding? Well, first of all, I acknowledge that everybody who owns a horse or who rides a horse, usually they love their horses, so they're not doing anything wrong. And uh, But the thing is that people don't really realize that they are actually doing something wrong because animals don't want to be enslaved. They don't want to be taken out of the wild and they don't want to be forced to run in circles while they're being trained and while their spirit is broken. So it's all the cycle that leads up to that. We're far better off to leave horses in the wild and to not ride them, to simply not breed them into existence in the first place, which is also what happens. If you haven't yet seen the documentary, don'twatch.org, it's only seven minutes long and I'll explain to you about why we shouldn't be using animals. The vegans don't eat them, wear them, or use them. We don't use them in experiments or not even for entertainment. So when you're riding a horse, you're typically doing it for yourself, not really for the horse. Wash away your old life, be vegan today. Jump into your new life, it's the only way. Wash away your old life, be vegan today. Welcome to heaven on earth. Happy Vegan Declaration Day. Responding to comments, and yours is next. 
You're asking everybody if they have seen a video where a supposedly vegan dog chose to eat meat instead of eating the vegan dog food. Well, first of all, we have no evidence that that is in fact a vegan dog. And more likely, it is somebody who is trying to sell their product, which is the dead flesh of other animals. Second of all, even if it was true that the vegan dog chose the non-vegan dog food, that has no relevance to what we're talking about here. Dogs don't have moral agency. They don't know what they're eating. So they will choose something that tastes good to their palate in the same way that a child will choose to eat candy all day if they were allowed. It doesn't mean it's good for them and it doesn't mean it's good for their families or the world at large. So our job as the adults of society is to do the right thing. Feed your dog vegan food. I know how it feels to just look at a vegan account like this one and assume that, you know, she's crazy, she's lying, this isn't true, but it is true. It's time to go to watchdominion.com. It's normal to be curious, it's normal to feel empathy, and it's time to learn the truth and be vegan from now on. What the fuck are you doing? You're not a baby or a cow, bro. What the fuck are you doing? You're not a baby or a cow, bro. Go on, get out of here. Go. Humans are weird. In the grocery store, you can decide to buy soy milk and be vegan from now on. In the grocery store, you can decide to buy soy milk and be vegan from now on. Hey there. Listen, I read your comment. You think it's a good idea to get me banned. But instead of wasting your time on that, why don't you use your time to get smarter? Check out this book by this vegan kid. It says 50 Comebacks for Vegan Kids. Now, this guy's vegan. He's 12 years old, and he's never eaten meat or any animals or dairy products, no cheese and things like that for his whole life. He's just a normal kid. His mom is a doctor, and his dad is a nutrition scientist. So he knows all about nutrition. Look, all the things that you guys say, like all the attacks you have, all the answers are here. So when you become vegan, you'll know all the answers to give. Like, but I could never give up bacon. And so then he talks about how bacon is unhealthy for you and it's not good for the animals either. It's a really cool book. I highly suggest you get it. And you'll really feel smarter afterwards, like a lot smarter. It's called 50 Comebacks for Vegan Kids. Plants don't feel pain, they don't have a brain, they don't have a nervous system, so it's okay to bite into them. You have a heart, you know where to start, share this song and be vegan from now on. For those of you who always say that we are forcing you to be vegan, think again. We all know that racism is wrong. Homophobia is wrong. I and all of my colleagues here are not forcing you. All we're doing is making videos. I respect religions that don't pay for the rape, torture, confinement, and murder of innocent animals. Why are you so vegan phobic? Why are you so afraid to look at what's on your plate and be responsible for it? Why do you insist on trying to point the finger at those who are defending the victims instead of looking at yourself. You are the perpetrators. Go to yourveganfallacyis.com and you will see how ridiculous you sound. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's 